Hello and welcome back to day 25 of Mule 4 in-depth training. Okay, so I hope you have completed all the day 24 videos. And I know it is mostly conceptual and it's all about syntaxes. I wanted you to practice by seeing my video. Whatever I did in my video, you can pause the video and type, try to design your APIs. Please don't continue to day 25 until you complete exercises on day 24. You just have to follow the video and uh, complete the exercises. Do whatever I did. Okay, now let us jump into day 25. I will explain you what we are going to do. And in this video, we'll see how to describe the data types and also examples for our data types. We'll discuss about the best practices while creating the data types. We will understand about what are resource types and we'll see how to apply those resource types. Okay, so let us get started. Okay, we understood earlier how to define traits. Now, coming to here slash restaurants, I want to describe responses for get. So I'll use control space and select responses. And I wanted to describe about 200 success code and um, and four zero or 500 server side error codes. I want to describe these two. Then for 200, what is the body? Once I declare body, I, once I'm going to describe about body, it is saying the payload media type is mandatory. Okay. So under body, if I press control space, I can select what is the media type application slash json or xml i'll write application slash json fine actually um for 500 also if i type body i have to give what is a media type now again i'll give application slash json then if i don't describe the json that's okay it is not giving error so actually what I want is for my entire API, I want the default response media type to be JSON. So what I can do is if I want to describe the default, what I can do is here on the top, I can specify the media type as application slash JSON. So again, the value of media type, the default media type is an array. I wanted to give only one. So if I don't specify now here, that's okay. There is no error. See, whatever I defined at the top, that will get applied here. Now I can directly specify the type. Okay. So let us first start by describing the error message. Error message type. And I'm going to describe the type, um, sorry, not type. I, I'm going to describe the properties in the body. I want the properties to have status. It's of type um, string and error message, or simply I will write message. It's also of type string. So I defined, I'm, I'm saying that the body, whenever 500 is the status code, response status code, the body will contain these two properties. And the response is, of course, JSON. Right. Okay. Now, again, for get request to slash restaurant slash restaurant ID also, I wanted to describe uh, responses. And I also wanted to respond, uh, I want to describe two hundred as well as 
500 and for this uh, slash restaurant slash restaurant id also whenever 500 the error message has to be sent i want the properties to be status and message same thing so what i can do i will copy paste and copy and paste it see indentation yeah so i'm describing that whenever 500 is a status code these are the things so maybe whenever i have to send an error message every error message i want it to contain these two things don't you think that this is like redundant i'm describing duplicating this configuration yes so better if i can actually define my own data type called as error message and use it instead of describing everywhere so let us see how to describe your own data types so i'll right click new mm, i will select raml api fragment file mm, here i will select data type mm. so what i can do is i'll give a file name as or sorry i'll create a new folder first data types better always to create separate folders and inside that i'll create a new raml api fragment file data type and here i'll write view the data type as error message okay so you can see that after raml 1.0 you can see data type that means that whatever we are going to describe here is a data type then here what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut these properties and all and paste i will do proper indentation hmm. so i defined my own data type called as error message very simple this line in the top says that this file contains data type definition and i'm saying that the properties inside this is uh, this one and here i will write type as object it is a custom object you'll understand why this i why i define this type later but now i gave this as a uh, type as object and the object contains this properties fine now how to use this data type hmm. on the top here again i have to write a section called as uh, data types or types sorry types i will write error message i'll have to include exclamation include data type slash error message and then here for 500 status code i want to tell that the body will be of a type called as uh, you can see uh, error message is available my own type yes similarly here also i can delete under body i can just write type as error message that's said we can reuse this data type once i define it let us see for the, in the documentation uh, for get request if you see under responses 500 here is the body type application slash json and uh, this is an example this is the structure it contains these two properties good fine now let us define the data type for success slash restaurants slash restaurants i should be able to return array of restaurants right what is the structure of a restaurant what all data it should contain see this is the restaurant table it every restaurant
will contain a restaurant ID, name, these fields, house number, street, city, pin code. So let me define my own data type called as restaurant and we will see various best practices here. So I'll right click new API fragment file and uh, data type. Here I'll give restaurant. Okay. Here I will write type as object properties. I will start describing restaurant ID. I want um, it to be of type uh, integer. Then what restaurant name? I want it to be of type string. Then house number. This is of type integer. Street city pin code. Street of type string. City of type string. Pin code of type uh, integer. Okay. Fine. Now um, I have defined my own restaurant type and how to use it, you know already. Mm, here under types, I will define restaurant. Exclamation include data type slash restaurant. Then here for body, I will give type as array. Sorry, restaurant array. Let us see. Restaurant array. Let us see the documentation. Get the request. For 200 status code, you can see in square bracket, restaurant is there, right? So I described, described restaurant array. Or there is one more syntax. What I have to do is um, type is, I have to specify array. And what are the items inside it? Items is of type uh, restaurant both syntaxes are fine you can specify type and then items restaurant or restaurant square brackets like i have told you this is the syntax good i defined uh, how the response will look like mm, now for for slash restaurant slash restaurant id for get request responses 200 here the body will be of type restaurant only right whenever a get request is made to slash restaurants slash restaurant id i want its type to be restaurant single restaurant good so we can reuse this restaurant hmm now i want to give an example mm, how to give examples for each data type it will be good if i can give an example i'll give an example but before that um, i want to modify this see this house number street city pin code these all are related to address right maybe i felt it is good to define a data type called as address and use it here so let us see how mm, i'll create a new fragment file again uh, data type address and its type also is object and properties i'll copy paste cut and paste 
cut and paste fine now inside restaurant i want a variable of property of type address i'll write address and i will use exclamation include um address dot ramal the relative path that's it so now you can see a uh, restaurant is a type it contains restaurant id name address and if we click on show address has house number street city etc okay fine one more thing i want to tell you whenever you are designing a rest api one important concept you need to understand in rest called as h a t e o a s it is pronounced differently hit os or hit os many people pronounce it in different ways hit os so in rest apis you need to understand this concept it is a bit confusing i'll try to explain it h stands for hypermedia as the engine of application state that is the abbreviation of hetos again i will repeat hypermedia as the engine of application state i will write it hypermedia as the engine of application state you have to understand this it is a bit complex let me explain you normally uh, let us try to understand about um, html how it works uh, for example let's assume that i go to uh, mulesoft.com mulesoft.com i will get the home page i don't remember all the links present in this website once i go to home page what i do there are hyperlinks if i click on any hyperlink for example if i click on courses it will take to me the next page courses catalog page again there are a lot of hyperlinks so basically whenever i visit any website i am seeing a state of the application this is a home page this content is a home page i am seeing home page state of your application of mulesoft application mulesoft application is on the server i am right now viewing the state of home page okay if i click on any hyperlink for example i am actually seeing another state of the application right our server side application is having multiple data data in various urls i am able to do a state change i am able to transition from one state of the application to another state by clicking on the hyperlink right here hypermedia or hyperlink is acting as the engine of application state by clicking on hypermedia we are transitioning from one application state to another application state this is hetios actually what this principle of rest says is whenever you are returning responses in the responses make sure that there will be links which will help the user transition to the next state okay so that is what in actually in any html pages or in any web application hypermedia is acting as a engine of application state so every website follows this principle hetios otherwise what as a end user i should remember all the links which is really impossible right similarly 
we have to apply the same principle when we are designing REST APIs. Okay. Now, slash restaurant, restaurant slash restaurant ID will give me one restaurant object, right? But what all can I navigate once I get a restaurant with ID 100? What all are the links? Maybe slash restaurants slash ID slash menus. She will give the menus of this particular restaurant, is it? So actually, whenever I am returning a restaurant object as a JSON, do you want me to return all the menus also? No, right? In the response, if I just can give the links to retrieve the menus, if required, the customer or the user will use that link to fetch the next set of data. So this principle, HTOS, says that in the responses, make sure that you embed links which can help the user to transition from one state of the application to another state. Okay, now that said, coming to our API, for our restaurant, um, I want to give links, maybe from restaurant, uh, I should be able to retrieve some other information also. So I want to give one more property called as links. In the response, I might want to give multiple links. And I want links to be an array. Hmm? So I can define here links. Um, I can give uh, link name. I will write. Sorry. Um, again, here links. Sorry, I have to type links type is. array items here i can define the properties and uh, here i want link name is string and href i want the url it's also of type string so I defined a restaurant like this. Let us see. Your links is an array. Array of these two things. Right, good. So one restaurant will have array of links. Each link will have these two properties. Oh, I thought instead of defining the properties like this, I can define a data type called as link. Hmm. Let me do that. New AP fragment file. Hmm. Data type link. And uh, here I will give type as object properties. I will cut and paste. Link name and href. Fine. Now, here under items, I will use exclamation include link.raml. It's very convenient. So now my restaurant is containing array of links. Good. My restaurant is having two nested data types. One is address. And another is array of links. Good. This is how I defined a data type. Now, it will be good if I can create an example of this data type so that in my documentation, API documentation, which gets generated, my customers can see an example of how a restaurant will look like. So yes, we can define examples as well. So how 
firstly let me create a new folder examples and uh, i'll create a new fragment api fragment file here i will select example and i'll give restaurant example mm. so here you can see after raml 1.0 you can see that I'm defining named example, and here I can give, um, here I can give value. Then I have to give the value. So what I will do is instead of me typing to save some time, I'll copy paste. I have something here. I'll copy paste, and I'll explain you restaurant example paste. Yep. So what? I have um, restaurant ID, name, address, address contain all this, links. This is how you can define the properties. Mm. Let me make sure that the keys are same as in restaurant. Um, restaurant ID, name, address, links and address contains house number street city pin code and pin code okay house number and pin code i've given them as strings that's okay now links uh, contains link name href that's okay mm. let us see now i have given this as an example how to link this example with this data type? I will tell you. I'll press control space. Example. I will write um, exclamation include okay, exclamation include dot dot slash example slash restaurant example hmm now i'm getting an error why house number expected to be integer but found to be string okay now can i make it like this good and um pin code pin code pin code is it an integer pin code Pin code also here I defined as an integer. I will make it as integer only. Fine. Now, this looks fine. Now, let us go to the documentation and see whether the documentation is showing correctly or not. Get request for 200 response. Mm, I'm not getting this example here. No. Uh, I'll click on restaurant. Example I gave. Here example is clearly shown. Mm -hmm. Fine. Now let me go here. Sometimes it will take a little bit of time to update mm -hmm. no here example i actually should see that example here in the api mm. sometimes it is not actually updated that's okay mm, what i will do is uh, restaurant here i applied or not yes examples slash um uh, looks fine actually these all are strings okay let me make this a string
Mm. Okay, good. Now, this is not yet updated. Fine. Um, I will close and open. I closed all. Let me open the main RAML. Mm -hmm. Maximize this. Get. Hmm. Still, I'm not able to see the example here. Still, it is showing the old structure only, even the house number, all are not part of address. Mm. So let us see again data type. Restaurant, it is having address. Address is having array of links. Here, I guess I can see these things, but still, these values are not in double quotes. <laughs> that means uh, the IDE has not yet updated. Sometimes, as you know, this is a problem with any point studio. So let me restart and check if it updates. OK, now it restarted. Let me open this file. OK, get request. Now, see here, yes, I got this updated. Because sometimes it is a problem with any point studio. This is also a good learning. Whenever, normally, if we see, if we don't see that it is getting updated, normally we feel that we have done some mistake. But actually understand that any point studio has some issues. Sometimes it will not refresh the API console. You just have to restart your any point studio, then you can see the expected output. Right? Good. Now, in this lecture, you understood how to define data types, examples, etc. Next lecture, we'll see some best practices uh, to be understood while defining data types and also a few more topics. So, what you can do is whatever I have done, follow the video again. Follow the same steps. Okay. See you next lecture.